In this tutorial, we are going to create this image hotspot. We can see it right here, the way it functions. Hover over these guys and we see the content pop up. You can have as many of these as you want on an image. You can have as many hotspot images as you want, all for free, all compatible with Elementor. There are third-party Elementor plugins that you have to pay for that give you this functionality. But in this video, you're going to see how you can do it for free. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. The first thing we have to do is install a plugin. So let's go to Plugins and Add New. And let's look up Image Hotspot. The one we want is this one right here, Image Hotspot by DevVN. It has 20,000 plus installs. A lot of great reviews, untested with the current version of WordPress, which doesn't mean anything's going to go wrong, just hasn't been tested. I usually like to use ones that have been tested with the current version and have been updated recently, but sometimes it's just not possible. This is one of the only free image hotspot plugins that's worth anything. If you're installing this on a live site, make sure you back up your site first, just in case something goes wrong. You can revert to the backup and then have your site back up and running. It's pretty rare something goes wrong, but it's always best to have a backup. There's a link in the description down below to help you back up your site if you need help. When you're ready, click on Install Now, then click on Activate. We have a new menu option on the left now called Image Hotspot. Let's hover over that, then click on Add New. I'm going to call this one Purple Bike Bistro. That'll make more sense in just a minute. We need to set a bunch of options in here, but first I like to upload the actual image these options will be applied to. So let's go down to the bottom, click on Upload Image. I already have mine uploaded in the media library. It's this one right here. Let's click on it, then click on Select, and now we have this image right here. And this is going to be the image that's going to have our hotspots overlaid on top. To add a hotspot, first we have to select an image for the hotspot itself. Where it says pins image, click on select pins to the right of that. I'm going to choose this question mark here. Select. You can also choose a hover image that will replace this image when it's hovered over. We're not going to do that in this tutorial, but you just same procedure. You just go in here, you pick the hover image, and then that one will be shown when the hotspot's hovered on. You can change the pin center position. All these options you see here, I'm going to keep mine at center center. You have a pins animation if you want none or pulse. And when you have all that set up, you click on add point right here. And that will add our little icon. And we can put that wherever we want. I'm going to put this one on the bike seat. Once it's in position, click on it again. Here's where you can enter all the details. Bike seat. It's going to be this hot spot. You can have a custom pin image. So if we were to go here, we can then pick a different image for a pin if we want to. Let's choose this one. You could have all your hotspots be one specific image, like the question mark in this case, and then select ones, you could have a different pin image, or you could have a different pin image for each one, whatever you want to do. First, you have to select a generic one, and then you add all your custom ones in the individual custom dialog box, like in here. You can also select a custom hover image. You can change the placement. This is where the text will pop up, or text in this case is bike seat. So right now it's north, which means it'll pop up from the top. And that's okay with me. You can add an ID in a class for custom CSS if you want. When you're ready, click on Done. And now this hotspot is done. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the Like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click Like if you like this video. And you'll notice that this is still the question mark, which is not the pin image we selected. We wanted the plus in the blue circle. To get it to show up, we have to save draft or publish, one of those two options, and that will save, and then it'll refresh, and then it will show the pin image we selected for that one, which is down the plus. To add another point, just add another one. Let's put this one over here. Let's call this the menu. You can add media in these pins as well. Let's add this coffee cup. That's on the menu. Click on done. And maybe one more pin. Let's put it right down here. Bike spokes. Let's change the placement to south. Let's change the placement on the menu to east. Once you have all your hotspots set up where you want them, click on Publish. Now we have a short code right here, which we can insert into any page 
that accept shortcodes, including Elementor. So let's add this to an Elementor page. I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to name it Image Hotspot, save it as a draft, then click on Edit with Elementor. Let's look up the shortcode widget, which is in the free version of Elementor, in case you're wondering. I do have the paid version on this site, but the shortcode widget is in the free version. And now we have it right here. We see we chose the pulsing option, so it pulses. This is independent of the actual image. Somehow it calculated the size of the image and somehow it's pulsing just perfectly out of this image. We didn't set that anywhere. It just is doing that on its own. And if you look closely behind the question mark, you see the pulse growing from the center, but it seems to pause out around the edge. I'm not sure how it does that. Either way, this is what the pulsing looks like. Let's publish this and let's look at it on the front end. If you hover over these, we have our content showing up, including images, if you have images on there, or video, whatever kind of media you can add to WordPress, you can have in these tooltips that pop up. And this is quite a large image. You don't have to have an image this big. You could have this just in one column on one side of the page on a smaller image. There's no limit to the largeness or smallness of the image that you use for your hotspots. And this also works on mobile. All the positioning is adjusted the way we need it to be. You click on the hotspot to activate it and it comes up as a full pop-up or full overlay, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I guess that's the only way they can get it to work on mobile. When you have lots of content like this one, it's okay, but the mobile is not my favorite, let's put it that way. But it still works, including the pulsing, and it's not that bad. I just prefer if it was an actual tooltip that pops up on mobile, but I guess maybe on mobile it can't be done that way. I'm not quite sure. But either way, that is the Image Hotspot plugin, and it's compatible with the free version of Elementor. If you like this video, you might also be interested in creating image maps on your website. They're pretty cool. They're like image hotspots, but they're a little bit different. I show you all about them in this tutorial right here. It is also for free and also compatible with Elementor. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.